Hey, what's up everybody? Welcome to today's video. For those of you who are new, my name is Sierra and welcome to my channel. So I decided to start vlogging. Today is July 10th, which means today is Sierra's YouTube two year anniversary. I posted my first video on YouTube two years ago. So I feel like today is a good day to vlog because of that. Um, yeah, so I'm super excited, you guys. Thank you guys for two years. Thank you to my day ones. Thank you to the new ones here joining. Um, I just want to say thank you so much for all the support and love you guys show me on the daily, leaving in the comments, leaving the videos a like, subscribing to the channel. If you're not subscribed, make sure to subscribe because it really helps my channel grow. And also, every time you leave a comment, it lets me know what kind of videos you guys want to see. So I just want to say I appreciate you guys so much. So in order to celebrate my two year, I'm going to go to Starbucks and get some coffee because why not? I'm super excited. And I did change my room a little. So it's kind of looking a little different. Also, I did get some packages. Let me show you guys. So here are the packages. You guys, I did start to order stuff from my GoFundMe page that I did. If you guys aren't sure what I'm talking about, click on the card up here. It'll link you to a video of letting you know what I'm doing. But I ordered these face masks and they came in. So we have some face masks, reusable cotton ones, which definitely will come in handy for people that I'm going to be giving these to. Also, I did get some donated over here, which thank you so much, Lisa. She made them and mailed them over, so thank you so much. Definitely appreciate it. These are going in the bags as well, and I need to open these too, so let me do that real quick. Let's see what we got, Buster. Holy cow, <laughs> I didn't realize I ordered this big. This is for a different project, but I have yarn here, which I'm gonna start making macrame pot holders. So I'm super excited. Of course, I'm gonna show you guys once I start this process. I'm still waiting for one more thing, but that's mine personally. Oh wow, these are little bottles that I will be using for hand sanitizer. So I'm going to fill this whole thing up with hand sanitizer. These are all the bottles. Here's another one. So we have two bags. I believe this one's a hundred. I think there's a hundred in here. And I did get some labels. Yeah, so I did get some labels here. As you can see, I'm going to write hand sanitizer on here or do not drink. So these will go on the bottles. I did order some that already had hand sanitizer labeled on it, but I figured why not order more because you just never know. So I'm gonna put these on there. That's basically it. I ordered two more 100 packs. So there'll be 100 or 300 of these. And I'm just putting all this stuff here. So like I said, I already the, the bottles already came in. The masks, more masks here, which I'll put these over here. So everything's starting to come in slowly. And like I mentioned before, I'm gonna do a whole different video. This is just kind of, since you since I'm vlogging, I might as well let you guys know I got it. But I'm gonna do a whole new video just dedicated to basically everything that I am doing for the GoFundMe page and FYI I think I'm gonna take the GoFundMe page down in like two weeks because the last time I the last time it received a donation which was like four days ago so I figured I might as well just take it down because all the people who wanted to donate have already donated Are you talking to me? so no vlogging oh. you guys say hi to Jeff <laughs> hi. so I'm gonna do one I think right here like a pot holder and maybe one on this side. So it's gonna look really nice. Guess what? what? Today's my two year YouTube anniversary. There you go, what are we doing? Let's have a drink. We're having a coffee. 
I'm gonna go get some coffee. Let's get some wine. All right, you guys, it is about 1.16 and I did get my coffee, so I just wanna say cheers, you guys, to two years of YouTube and more years to come. Shout out to you guys. Thank you guys for supporting me and my channel and my videos. I just wanna say a huge thank you again. Cheers. Ooh, you guys, my little plant mister came in. It's like a spray, so I'm gonna check it out. Oh, I thought I heard my computer go off. I think we're good. So, yay! Look how freaking cute this looks. How cute! Let's test her out. And in case you guys are wondering, I do keep track of all the expenses that are going on with the GoFundMe account. So I basically write like what payments came out, how much, what I purchased, and I keep it updated every time I purchase something. It's usually at the bottom. So yeah, this is all the expenses and everything because y'all, I've already had people actually say that, oh, this money isn't going to go back to the people or whatever. It's just because of all the politics and all the embezzlement and all that crap. But you guys, I am keeping track of everything. So when someone comes at me and says that I didn't spend the money, I'll have it all accounted for. I'll be like, here. Bam! It's all in here. It's all accounted for. All the all the funds went back, you know, to the people where they're supposed to go. Where I said I was gonna do it. You guys donate at the bottom if you're not donating. That's fine. Feel free to share. Uh, otherwise, yeah. Thank you guys for donating for everybody who has. And anyways, I just wanted to show you guys my little booklet that I have been keeping myself organized. Buster is basically crashed out. Let me show you. Buster, Buster, Buster. Oh. <laughs> yep, crashed out. All right, you guys, I'm gonna show you some footage from the time that I made some steamed corn stew right about now. So this was a few, I wanna say a week ago, less than a week ago, yeah. So less than a week ago, I made this and you guys check this out. So here we have the slow cooker. I already plugged it in. We're gonna add some water. And here's my bag of steamed corn stew. So this I actually got from, I believe the Shiprock Fair Parade last year. So if you watched that vlog, this is where I got it from. If you didn't, here is a card up here that you can click. That way you can watch it. But this says it's harvested and prepared by Navajo Preparatory School students grown in Anahanzad, New Mexico. Mmm, thank you so much, Navajo Prep. So this is the corn that I'm gonna use. And then here is my lamb stew. It is frozen, so I'm gonna figure out how to cut it open. And y'all look at this price for this little chunk of lamb stew but it's all natural so it better be good I have two of them here I'm gonna put this in there and just basically let it cook overnight it is currently almost 1 a.m. so I'm thinking it should be done in the afternoon and I will update you guys when I wake up and check this out all right I finally got it cut open and everything is in there and good to go I am super excited you guys but this is perfectly fine you can put it in a slow cooker you can put it over the stove if you wanted to but since I want to have this tomorrow afternoon this is perfect it's gonna be done in the afternoon I'm gonna make the fry bread tomorrow I am super excited this is basically all you have to do but I will see you guys tomorrow OMG look what we have here it is now 11.44 and you guys look how delicious this looks. If you guys could smell this, OMG, this smells delicious. The meat is just literally breaking apart. I am super excited. All I have to do is make some fry bread and we are good to go. Oh, and also I need to get like a Coke or something because 
you cannot eat this and not have a coke so i need to go do that i will see you guys when i start making the bread i am going to start making the fry bread right now i have all my ingredients here and i'm not gonna vlog the whole thing but if you're not sure how to make fry bread i did do a video about it it'll be linked up here also in the video description that way you can see how to actually make it the stew is looking very delicious and it smells so good i'm so excited uh oh got a little steam on the camera it's okay but y'all i am super excited i'll vlog like a little here and there but i am gonna go on instagram live if you're not following me make sure to follow me because sometimes i do do little things like this here we go All right, there is my dough. Pretty much, yeah, good to go. And then I'm gonna cover it and basically let it sit for maybe about 20 minutes. Oh my gosh, you guys, the fry bread is done. Super excited. All right, you guys, as you can see, I have my stew here, fry bread, and of course, the Coke. Not sponsored by Coke, but you always have to have a Coke whenever you're eating stew because it just sets off the whole mood. So let's do that. Oh my gosh. It's good. And we have the salt. This is all I add to it. I just add salt. Mix her up a little. Oh, it's been a while since I've had steamed corn stew. And for those of you who aren't sure, like what steamed corn stew is, basically it's corn that's steamed and then dried, and then later on used for stew like this. It's quite a process for this, so it's definitely a Navajo delicacy. That is so good. And for those that are curious about where I got my lamb meat, I just got it from the grocery store. So you have the fry bread here. I guess I could kind of update you guys on my life and just everything. As you can see from my vlogs, I'm still working from home, which is nice. Um, I'm getting a little too comfortable with it. I personally like working from home, the comfort of my own home and even at work in general, I don't really talk to too many people. So I don't have a lot of work friends, which I'm fine with. What else can I talk about? Oh, speaking of work, um, for those of you who didn't know, I've been working at this job for, I want to say, at least two years. And I've been like a temp, like a temp contractor. I do graphic design. So a lot of the jobs start out as temps to hire. And when you work as a temp, they're basically able to cut your hours or even like let you go at any certain time. Um, you also don't get like good benefits and stuff like that. So it's kind of hard being a temp. So I've been a temp at this job for almost two years. But you guys, I have exciting news. I am finally a permanent employee. So I'm super excited about that. Uh, that just makes me so happy. Mm. So now I get holiday pay, I get PTO, I get benefits, I get a 401k. And if you've never worked like a temp job, yeah, it, it's, it sucks, but you know, it's a job, but still it sucks because like I said, they, they can cut your hours and that's what happened to me a couple times especially last year um, i was kind of going through a hard time i'm just so glad i stuck it through and just looking back at it it yeah so that's the latest news on my whole job situation and life i guess my biggest news so far our trip was really fun we went to the grand canyon we'll probably do more camping trips now that we got like camping supplies and stuff so we'll probably do that more often and you guys will see vlogs like that and just trying new things still my ac finally went off <laughs> it's super hot here in phoenix i think yesterday it was like 106. you know what next time let me know comment below if you want me to do like a vegetable lamb stew that would be good you know what recently i actually didn't know but 
I made Navajo tacos like a few a few weeks ago and I didn't know that I never made fried bread in front of Jeff but he was so like surprised and amazed I wish I was recording his reaction because he was in and out of the house and then I started making the, the fry bread like actually frying it the frying part and he was like so confused he's like where did you get your dough <laughs> and I was like I made it and he's like what you made the dough like he was just so like surprised he's like oh my like from scratch and I was like yeah <laughs> I was like wait you know just you've never seen me make fry bread and he he's just like no all these years first time Jeff has seen me made fry bread by the way he loved the Navajo taco I wish I recorded it but I was just so like consumed with like trying to make it <laughs> because vlogging and cooking is kind of hard but all right guys I guess that's it I don't really have anything else to say I'm getting full this was such a wonderful lunch and I'm glad I got to share it with you guys let me know in the comments if you guys have ever tried this or heard of it or if it's like your first time seeing it and are wondering like I wonder how that takes taste but anyways I hope you guys enjoyed this video thank you guys for watching thank you guys for all your support and make sure to subscribe if you're not subscribed otherwise I will see you guys in my next video okay bye I was actually gonna put that in a whole new video but then I decided you know what might as well throw it in this because I don't think there's enough footage for one video with that so I hope you guys enjoyed that part um, I guess that's it for today's video also here is another part which is mail time from the time that I got mail so thank you guys for sending me mail as always my PO box information is always down below you're not required to send me anything but if you want to and are feeling inclined feel free <laughs> But um, I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. And again, thank you guys for supporting me for two freaking years now. Thank you so much. And also, if you want to donate, make sure to donate down below. The link is down below. And I guess that's it for today's video. I hope you guys enjoy. And I'll see you guys on my next one. Okay, bye. Hey, everybody. Welcome to mail time. So today, my battery's about to die. <laughs> All right, so I got a letter from M Field in Oregon and it's a thank you card oh my gosh with the letter so I'm gonna read the letter later thank you so much for sending this and then I got stickers that I ordered from Tierra Begay oh, wow let me see a thank you letter thank you note oh cool and here are the stickers that I ordered I ordered these two stickers, but it looks like she threw in some extras. Thank you so much. Ooh, look at this. Her Instagram will be down below if you guys want to order stickers. This one is the one I ordered. If it'll focus. But yeah, super cute. Oh, and she ordered some. She gave some for Siri and Jeff. Thank you so much. I'm pretty sure Siri's gonna love this too. Thank you. Oh, wow. She wrote a letter, but I'm not going to read it. <gasps> but look at this. It's a little plant drawing. I'm going to have to frame this and put it back there. We have an Amazon package. Oh, Buster got a gift. Hi, this gift is for Buster so he can play in the sprinklers. And you don't have to worry about him about taking off his leash. It's a retractable leash. <laughs> <laughs> That's the collar. It doesn't fit Buster. It does. I was messing with him. Oh. Come here. By the way, his native name is One Ear Back. Because usually. Or stinky ears. Because usually his ear is like this. Or his ear stinks. Aww. But thank you so much. Look at this. It's a dog. It's an outline of a dog. And it comes with a water bowl and a poop bag you guys i didn't even realize that i wasn't even recording and my camera died so i had to bring out my phone so i'm gonna have to show you guys these items also i noticed that i'm breaking out right here which i think it's from my mask but you guys we got a package from the young family in okinawa japan i was just telling jeff i was like what kind of address is this because it was weird and i was like wait is this a military address and i looked at it and it was so thank you so much the young family in okinawa japan we got a postcard that's kind of like a 
and a keychain and a shirt. How awesome. Oh, and then this package is from Lisa, who actually volunteered to make masks for the drive that I'm gonna be doing. So that's what it is. Oh, wow, thank you so much for all these masks. These are gonna go in care bags that I'm gonna do. So thank you so much. I'm glad you bagged them. Awesome, there's a whole lot in here. Thank you again for uh, making these masks and donating your time and supplies. Thank you guys for sending stuff. Appreciate it. We're gonna test Buster's leash. I'll put it in a vlog. But you guys, thank you so much. Oh my gosh, I totally didn't see this, but I, as I was looking through the package that Lisa sent over for the masks, I realized that there was something in here. And you guys, oh my gosh, thank you, Lisa, for sending this bracelet. This is so pretty.